Hello everyone, and welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the Asuma, where lately, you know, Twitch has been running ads. <laughs> okay, I look away for a second, it goes back to normal. I, I just looked at the ad readout thing, and it was like, it was telling me it's going to play an ad every 30 seconds for the next two hours. And I was like, oh, that's not good. And then I, you know, I look at Minecraft, I look back, and then it fixes itself. Okay. Whew. Oof, I was like, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look right. Also, uh, there might be someone in our base. There certainly is someone in your base. Ah, hi. Oh, hold on. Just taking care of a little un unwelcome guest. Down oh, okay. I mean, I don't know where, where in my base you are. My base is a bit <laughs> complicated, to say it's the least. Um, oh, 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 hold on. I see your name. You're down here okay, somewhere. So you're up. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's Is try there this a door one. back here? Did you come through my nether portal? No, no, I didn't. Came through the front door. I am right below you. Ah, uh, okay. Now I know where you are. <laughs> I see horses. Hi. <laughs> oh, there you. Did you come down the honey? I did. Yeah. Nice. You can go up the honey as well and get all sticky. Oh, man, no thanks. <laughs> uh, I also saw. A building that was named Wart something. I'm gonna stay away from that one too. Oh yeah, okay, that one. Yeah, yeah. Couple of couple of disgusting things going on here, but everything else is beautiful. By oh, the way, I was you. just like marveling at everything you've built here so far. This right here has inspired me to sort of build like a like a vineyard, not a vineyard. You know how the how you, I know you uh, like a pagoda with the leaves. Exactly. And stuff. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Where the grapes just kind of grow over you. This is beautiful. It's cool. I got a pro tip for you though. Got to get yeah. your shears and just shear mm -hmm. the bottom of the glowberry, and then it doesn't yeah. grow any further down. I wish they did that with vines. I'm not sure why they don't. Yeah, vines are kind of old school. <laughs> they, I know. They just I know. keep growing. Here's my here's yeah. my tip though. Like, look at the glow lichen. I use it to suppress the growth of the vines all over the place. Hmm. So you kind of control how far they can go. Like like out here, there's a few more bits. You'll see it. Like the the whole temple is overgrown. Yeah. So there's patches of vines here and there, and use the glow lichen to kind of hold it back. It's the trick. Interesting. Okay. That's an interesting strategy. Yeah, it depends on your block palette, though, because uh, fortunately it blends in really well here. Yeah, no, it does. Actually, it looks fantastic. Okay. Down to brass tacks. Down to business. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard, I've heard you've got a smithing template. I am in need of one. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to go up the honey to, to get your stuff. Oh, right. disgusting. Hold on. Let me put on a different shirt. <laughs> My base has a very strange layout. When I designed it, I did not. I had no plan, right? Uh, but it this looks is like cool. you did have a plan, actually. You have to go into the back corner and then boop. Okay. And then up you go. And then you pop out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back corner. And then what do I do? Just smack the note Oh. Up you go. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. It's cool, isn't That's it? It's wild. That is cool. really cool. Okay, I'm going to put a clean shirt back on. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, oh, wow. So here's the storage room. Very yes, nice. Yes, yes. Very then, nice. This is the area where things are actually labeled. So Ooh. somewhere in here. Oh, beef. Oh, I see it. By the way, you're gonna you're gonna need some diamonds to. Um... I got I got diamonds. I got diamonds. I got that part covered. In fact, oh. I even brought my own crafting bench so I can do this right in front of you. Oh, I don't need your diamonds, man. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Wait, wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Yes. Hold on a second. I'll keep these. Oh, wait, no, wait. wait, what? <laughs> you threw back you threw back the fraudulent ones. I thought you threw they actually fooled me. I thought those were the uh the new diamonds. Oh, oh. yeah, no, these are the fraudulent ones that I threw back, right? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Why why do you have fraudulent diamonds, dude? I had a bad idea um <laughs> to I'll use say. something to count diamonds, <laughs> and then I thought, but I could use it to poke a little mischief at others, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm sure the shop owners are going to love that. Um, okay, so I took a smithing template there from the bottom. I'm going to make one, and then I'm going to give you back your other one, so you still have two. Thank nice. you so much for this. I need to upgrade my hoe. You do? To another netherite hoe. Get the achievement. Yeah, well, not just that. I'm uh, I'm farming all season. I need like a better hoe than just diamond. This is not going to cut you got, it. You got your priorities in order, haven't you? Exactly. And then after this, I got to go grab a mending book. I mean... A 
a, a coffee from the Kitty Cafe with a free menu. Oh, book. yes, that's how that yes. works. Go get your beverage. <laughs> yes, just happens exactly. to get a convenient book at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got to sit down and read while you're at the cafe, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to read all about mending. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, man. Enjoy the um, upgrade. How do you get yeah. out? Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have it's, to take the honey again? <laughs> it's awkward. If you, yeah, okay. So here you like oh, hug, hug the side and then you hug just the walk out when you want to get to the next bit. I see. Okay, taking the shirt back off. <laughs> you are dedicated. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. I just keep getting stuff from this base. I got to come back here more often. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. This is the front door, right? Uh, or front there's there's plenty of ways. There's there's all sorts of <laughs> corridors. That that'll work for for your needs. You'll find your way Sounds out. Sounds good. Have fun. See you, B. Thanks. That was a pleasant start to the stream, wasn't it? Got some noises in the ear. Mr. Miley here with a prime badger spanner for 62 bumps. Bring in Evil X into the live stream. Uh, Attilus 23 Drew Dude for 30 months as well. Greatly appreciated, peeps. I haven't even said any. Thanks for anyone in chat. It's just been straight away some action. Um, if showing some around your base is action. <laughs> Let's go one floor further up. Woo! Right. Let's go one floor further up again. This was, this was the floor I intended to come to. My bedroom, which I have not constructed. Um, we are going to break some blocks at the beginning of this stream. I have also noticed something uh, rather important. I got a hot bevy here. Mm. Oh, that's really hot. That's really good. actually noticed that on time for once. Uh, very real and rare programmer art diamonds. Is that how I is that how I sell them off? Do I tell everyone that they're super rare or something? Uh, Mystic Fruit Twitch, thank you for your cheers and biddies. No message with that one. But uh, thank you nonetheless. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, Starry says, hi X from me and my little bro. Hi. Thanks for tuning in to the both of you. Hi, I'm really loving, uh, really enjoying Soul Side Eclipse. Love it, says Scarface. I'm glad to hear it. At some point, I actually want to start like playing that record in the background when I'm streaming. Like with time, the record has sort of taken on a little bit of a different meaning to me now, and I feel like at some point I just want to have a stream where I have it on. Although I feel like, you know, you, there's so many distractions and stuff when you play a game. And so I feel like it, it needs to come along at just the right time. Like there's some sort of thing that I've got to do and it just makes sense to put that on. It'll probably be some sort of grind, I imagine. You know? Uh, Mr. Miley listened to it the other day on Bandcamp. Most excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I put another uh, another song or part of a song from it in the next episode of Hermit Graph. Which I gotta say has been a really fun one. Um, first time doing a big project this season, it feels like. This is this is a crazy amount of copper. I can't believe how much of this I've obtained. Incidentally, as well, I might add. Incidentally. When are you gonna make a copper farm? I am the copper farm. What is this? This is farming copper. Oh my goodness me. Right, that's all of it. That better be all of it. I plan for today's stream, by the way. I would like to be I'd like to be more social. I was watching uh who, who was who was watching Ren's stream yesterday? Hand up in chat if you were watching it, because that was that was a beautiful moment of Hermitcraft right there. I really enjoyed all the shenanigans with the tea thing. The problem was is that like I was hanging out with Ren and Cleo for a minute, and then I was like, I better go do the rest of my episode, and I like then then I missed out on all the fun. So now I'm thinking it's like. Want to prioritize the social stuff a bit more because it's so it's such good fun. 
TJ says stress immediately noticed the counterfeit diamonds. I know that someone didn't. I know that most people did. And I know that some of the diamonds have been reused. So I think my job is done if there is shenanigans afoot. Queen Shazzy is here for 14 months. A social X stream sounds amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just not very good at like, I don't know. It feels weird to go and just turn up at someone else and be like, what you doing, buddy? You know? But hey, maybe you just got to do it and then get used to it. Cleo paid with, with you with the mix. That's right. That's right. Cleo, Cleo used them back on me, which I thought was just brilliant. I don't know how she knew it was me, or maybe she did it after she figured it out. But uh, I think I commented on her video because she was like, oh, we made some diamonds. And then it was like she didn't comment on the fact that they were the old texture, which is kind of funny. What you doing, buddy? I've never heard you say that, says Bear. The amount of hours I've streamed, I must have must have said that at some point in time, surely. Patrice says, I don't think Cleo realized. Definitely not at first. Definitely not at first. But I'm very aware that she... Uh, she's streaming. We, we bumped into each other, and I think she mentioned that. Now that I think about it a little bit more. Uh, I don't have a crafting bench, but I do have an ender chest, so that solves that problem. They're practically the same thing at this point. Practically the same thing. Whoops! Don't call it a derp. Don't call it a derp. Is Iskow online good sirs? Iskow is not online. These are the peeps that are online right now. So yeah, today, you know, I, I do want to be social. So I'm going to, I'm going to like try and do nothing that I can't just sort of get away from. And I kind of need to stock up a little bit on redstone supplies. Now that I've finished doing my little redstone project, it's not so urgent, but the ender chest was really good to just pull out everything I needed for a big project from it. But then you need to restock stuff. So I thought it might be smart just to spend a bit of time gathering resources so that we can restock. So like lots of crafting and stuff like that. This is kind of ridiculous, the amount of copper you get in this game, I'll tell you. Oof, and that's the last of it, and I can sleep in the bed. The shulker textures look amazing in the ender chest, says Blobby Sausage. Thank you. Yeah, I, I agree. Obviously. Obviously. And there we go. There's that. Here's something that we can stock up immediately. Lights. Hello. Uh, Jack-o-lanterns? Jack-o-lanterns should definitely be in there. I'm going to have to open up my reference images. Uh, also... False coming in with a raid. Hey, False. How's it going? What are we up to this stream? I, I did not have time to tune in. I I've i been busy, busy, busy just trying to get stuff done. Uh, let's see. Where am I going here? I'm getting... Oh, always the multitasking. Shulker boxes. And then the layout. And then pick lights. Which is... Oh! Oh, no, wait. I know what the difference is. These, these, okay, these, like, hover over with the different colours are lovely, but it doesn't change here. I wish it changed here as well. Maybe that's going a step too far. Um, so lights is this one, and jack-o'-lanterns should go in here. They're not in, like, a reserved slot. Maybe I decided it was going, I think I decided it was going to be that one there. Yeah, that looks about right. What's with the you smell, says Shark on Land? What? Who said that? <laughs> What's going on? I didn't put away my fortune pick. False transformed Wells' Island Castle today. Is that a is that a prank or like a service? I immediately I immediately like transform it? Like what does this mean? Oh, that's already fully stocked. Fair enough. Why did I think that wasn't stocked? It's because it's not stocked on my reference picture. 
confuse my brain. I'm looking at my reference picture and I'm like, better stock up those glow berries. Nope. That's not how that works. Terraform. Oh, okay. Full status to tell you that you smell. I do. I've got a nose. Would you? Can you believe it? The Annika Rogue says, X could I ask your opinion on streaming software. I've been researching OBS and stream elements. I'm not sure which is better. I understand it comes down to personal preference. I'm asking because I respect you as a streamer and look up to you as an influencer. Thank you in advance. Um, really, it's like, I don't know. You've got to pick out what attributes about it you uh, you like. <sighs> mm. You mean slobs not stream elements? Don't know. Yeah, you just got to do the research and uh, pick one. JSTP, 3000. Thank you so much for eight months. Appreciate it, my dude. Right, basically, you know, at the end of the day, they sort of all do the same thing. But because people have different needs, you you tend to go down a bit of a journey of like trying different stuff and settling on which one you like. Um, OBS for me would be a uh, solid. Hmm. Oh man, enjoying hot bevy here at the beginning. Last one for the day. Hey X, could you tell me how to enjoy the early game as a mid player? How to enjoy it as a mid player? Just embrace, embrace your time with it a little bit more. Embrace what it is, I guess. I don't know, it's a hard, hard thing to tell someone how to enjoy. You must enjoy this game! Enjoy it! Have fun or else. I don't know. Calamari93. Thank you for nine months of support. That is a Twitch baby. Feels like a minute since I pressed that one. Dark Solid X. Thank you for the cheers and the biddies. False raid. False senses. Condolences. How's the hopper, copper mine got coming along? Find any traps yet? Uh, I found no traps mining for copper. I guess there's some leftover ones from Demise. Uh, but I've I've gotten an absolutely redonkulous, redonkulous amount of copper. In fact, it's all it's all tucked away, out of sight, smelting at the moment. And I've just got up a whole bunch more to put with it. We're going to outgrow this storage system belong. I can feel it coming along now. Like I'm already putting stuff in here and leaving shulker boxes behind. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Why would it not? Hypnotized in chat. What is the barrier block icons in your shulker? Ah, Hypno, you would have access to these things too. Being a fellow hermit playing on the server. And um, they are just custom textures. I I did I it did like dawn on me later on that. It might look like I've actually got barrier blocks. So I might end up changing that if I have the time to and think of something like a better way to do it. Uh, what what barriers are, is there like a reserve slot for an item I don't have yet? In this chest, it's frog lamps. And then these ones, these are the, hop of a, uh, the top of a hopper and they're open slots. The reason I've got it arranged like that is because... There's a lot of like stuff that's missing and then there's like empty spaces left inside of these chests. And as they add more and more stuff to the game, you're going to want to fit it into the ender chest system. So it's really good to have a visual cue. And I used to use iron bars for that, but then they're an item that, you know, is actually in the game. And, and so it's kind of tricky to use an actual item from the game that you have. So I tried to find some textures or vanilla things that were uh, useful to kind of represent that. But I can see how they would also therefore be a little bit misleading as well. Use structure voids. They're a more obscure feature. Yeah, they, they don't have the nicest aesthetic. However, I'll, I'll look at them again. Maybe, uh, maybe they're not so bad. I don't know. I don't know where I put seeds. I'm going to put seeds in here. It's uh, the one and the only, the legendary Winnie T. Ford here. 72 months. Glad you're having fun with Season 10. Season 10 has been a revelation. It really has. It's been so much fun. 
Um, thank you, Winnie. I hope you have been watching some of it because it's been really good stuff this season. Just more like a group of friends than ever, I think. Zed used banners for a similar purpose, I think. That is a great idea. Banners, yeah. I'm really into my little customizations and tweaks and stuff, though, so I really like to get something just a little outside of the ordinary. But banners, banners is a pretty good shout. Okay, then as for all of these pumpkins, like, I should probably really go drop them back off at that farm. Uh, but for now, I'll chuck them in here. Crappy Toast says, so X, when is the socializing starting? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the sort of person who is very comfortable with just like turning up and being like, hi, what's going on? You know. So I, I figured uh, I'd start off by organizing these shulker boxes a bit. Well, not organizing, stocking up because that really needs doing. And then uh, maybe do a bit of work out the front of mine. But like, I don't know, see what's happening. See what's going on. Maybe some shenanigans are afoot. We can join in. Uh, Jacket Fracket, thank you for four months. Tier free subscription. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you so much for the support. Right, so this will go in there. Um, and then our shulker boxes can go back over here. So we kind of want to do a bit of a stock up. Uh, not much, apart from arrows. Like, I don't even have any back over here. That's not really uh, anything... Wait a minute, I, I thought I was trying to put that in there. Uh, Mad Cow Chow, thank you for the gifted subs. Five of them coming through. Leather Nizzy, Baconator, Lori Friendly, and DJ Echo. you all been gifted subs. Be sure to say thanks uh, in the chat. We appreciate it immensely. Thank you. Let's see. So out of this one... Nothing there really to stock up. Like, I don't have a level farm or anything yet. Uh, this one is a definite... Oh, yeah, I was going to go over to Hypno's Iron Farm and steal more iron. However, there is actually some here for stocking up. So, uh, looks like we might not need to do that today. In go the diamonds. Quartz is one we're going to want to stock up. Might even make some comparisons. The thing is, I'm, I'm kind of low on redstone again, right? And gold have been eating into a little bit of the gold supply. So, like, all of this stuff, I th think, can get broken down. How are we doing for coal as well? Oh, blocks of coal. Yeah, we'll make those. We can do that. Right, so in order to know how much gold, I want to look in here. Uh, my deep slate gold is full. So all of this stuff is actually good for smelting up. That's that's the kind of stuff we need to take care of now. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna hold back a stack of each of these if ever I want to use them decorationally. But otherwise, uh, well, I guess now I need my fortune pick. But yeah, these could do it with smelt. I assume I recently started reading your music blog. I really like your opinions and thoughts. On many of my favourite albums. Have you heard about the alt-rock band The Strokes? I really think you'd like their latest album. I'm aware of them. They're like a bit of a sort of household name type band, aren't they? Uh, but I've never really... That's like indie rock. I've never really got into that stuff. Uh, at the moment, my uh, my music consumption diet has been dialed down a lot. Especially with uh, just spending time on Season 10 with others and not, you know, constantly listening to a record or something. So, for me, the uh, the stuff on the blog is going to get, like, toned down a bit, I guess, with time. Oh, got some... Some left-behind copper in here. I wonder if there's any more of that. Okay, I'll go in there, then. My dream is for X to be a King Gizzard fan. I'm, I'm more into the Lizard Wizard, to be honest. You know, that's more my kind of thing. Alright, let's see how we're doing on the dyes. Like a little bit of lime, light blue. Not sure if it, do I have any lapis? Yeah, look at that, so we can make some light blue. 
Although, immediately I feel like, nah, save that for the flower farm. I don't think we need to actually uh, mess with the dyes right now. There's some other stuff here that's just a lot easier and more straightforward to stock up. I did golden carrots earlier today. So, in here, stuff like chests need doing, but I'm going to take care of that with my bamboo farm that I'm building. Um, so, skipping along, leaves is alright. It's really this. It's the redstone supplies. So I need to go get more redstone. And um, we can top up on some of these rails. Some of the other stuff will be crafted on demand. But I think the big and obvious thing is the, the lack of redstone itself in there. I love the extended reach we got this season. Definitely is a thing. Also like one extra tripwire hook. But yeah, it's, it's redstone itself we're uh, unfortunately drastically short on. And I think I might have a little stash of it, so I might have to go check it out. Although I might have already mined it. Extended range, says uh, T-Chill. Yeah, so there's something really quirky going on with the server this season. It just seems like you can reach, like literally reach further away than normal. And it's been really good for building and just doing general Minecrafty stuff. But it's not, I'm sure it's not right. Salus Hidden, thank you ever so much for the Prime subscription, my dude. And Sniper1974, 95 months, bringing Evil X back into the his house. Thank you, my dude. Elath, thank you for listening to my music the other day. I appreciate you doing that, that's cool. Do I listen to Inflames and Arch Enemy? Back in the day, of course. A fabric quirk, says Donette. Well, fabric is a modding platform. It doesn't actually modify the game, as far as I understand it. Like, not the gameplay. It's the platform for other mods. So, it's possible that there's a mod in and among the mix that we have that's doing it. But, like, I don't know what one it is, because none of them are supposed to do that. You've run into a timeline where the crab <laughs> won the mob vote, yeah. Oh, that just, that just stirred up a little memory of, uh, of I don't know, Mojang hate that seem, there seems to be a lot of lately. When they added the stuff to handle reach distance and whatnot in, in future updates, like they put in this really cool infrastructure for modifying more of the game, I saw these comments that were just saying stuff like... Why did those not stack? They were saying stuff like... Um, Oh, you know, like, they they, they could have added the crab anyway because they put in this other code and stuff. And, well, oh, there's so much negative interpretation of things sometimes. It's like, hey, let it go. Um, so we need to get redstone from somewhere, really. That's kind of a, a key thing here. As for restocking other stuff, I actually think probably redstone is the, the big one here. Uh, see, I've got jack-o'-lanterns in there. I'm not sure. Am I, like, wasting a space? I think I'm wasting a space by having it in here. Like, we'll leave that in lights. What I did in the past was I doubled up a few things because they fit so well with something else. Now I'm thinking that's not the way to do it. Here we go. So in this one, we've got those. Right, so we free up that slot. That's kind of nice. Uh, clay, do I have... Extra clay lying around. I think uh, some are short of bricks as well. Maxwell says, I love the icons in the shulker names. Oh, I'm glad you do. That's something I wanted to do on stream, actually. Was, like, perhaps rename some of these at some point. But I don't think there's much advantage to it or not. You just, you get used to what's in the content of these things, not not so much um, hung up on the names and whatnot. Billman68, thank you for 85 months, my dude, and ye old envelope is here for 14. I still find myself craving the derps and continue to come back. <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, so again, earlier I was making comparators and stuff, and that's why we now need to restock some of our quartz supply. Don't need a crazy amount of it. What might help here, I don't know. Could craft up some blocks of quartz, but honestly, I think I'm just going to hang on to that stuff. 
because we're probably going to make a lot of comparators this season. Uh, whoops. So then, ah, I did say somewhere there were bricks, didn't I? Oh, I put them in my inventory already. Keep those stocked up. Oh yeah, and so I used those bricks to make decorated pots and realized that I think they're in two different spots. They're in here, which should probably be reserved for flowers. I think because it goes well with the flower pot, I put it in there, but they're also in this one too. So I think once again, for management's sake, we're going to do that and have a free slot. Um, there's probably like a new flower, like the torch flower that could go in there, and maybe the flower pot gets moved somewhere else and... Yada yada yada. We kind of we kind of manage as we go along. Okay, so I think I've stocked up all of my ores. Uh, always good to have a full stack of cobble, I think. In case you need to make a furnace or something. Some people have a comfort show they watch. Mine has just been hermit grasses, radius. Yeah, that's uh, a popular term these days, isn't it? Having a comfort streamer or, or whatever. A throwaway joke, eh? Right. Um. And then after that, I think we're kind of looking good. There's some sand in my glass one, just because I was like, eh. I'll chuck that in there, yeah. No, we're good. You know, that this other stuff will get stocked up when I need to. So, uh, we were smelting gold, right? I'd not forgot about that. And that kind of brings us up to speed on our on our ender chest stuff, right? Now I've got a few more things in there that can be taken care of when necessary. Oh, Ren. I mean, Ren dies a lot in this game. You know, it's like... You're like, yikes, and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, it's Ren. <laughs> He's probably in the nether with uh, with no armor on, drinking his invisibility potions, sniffing piglin butt. <laughs> there you go, there you go. He's working on the perimeter and the buttons. Uh, Ren's been building a really cool wither skeleton farm. It's cool to see, like, people... Um, branch out and do things that they're not comfortable with in the group and Ren's taken on like quite a technical farm so I hope he enjoys doing that because building farms is fun are they the right way around like I can't remember what way around it's supposed to be it looks wrong to me dang it I got to refer to my images okay it's it's the correct way around at the present moment. So, good. 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 My memory... It's ingrained in my memory. Right. Oh, I, I've got to put that away. I think next order of business... Right, I could easily go do a little job here or there. But I said I wanted to be social. That ain't gonna happen... Unless we go somewhere. Because no one's coming here. Uh, Crappy Toast is calling on the uh, community. Does anyone know a good microphone? For a long time I had one, but that was 20 euros because I didn't have much money at the time. Now I'm looking for a microphone that's good for daily use. I mean, just do some research, you know. People write about stuff you can buy and reviews and whatnot, so uh, do some research. Is the custom shulker box icon a mod or a resource? It's a mod and a resource pack, both. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Do I have the FOV altered by running turned off? I think so. I saw Skiz was streaming earlier, so... I think when you're streaming, that's that's probably a better time to go... ...mess with someone. I mean, mess. Like, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna trust that. That's not a trap, is it? Nope. <laughs> Could have been a trap. How do I... Oh, there's a button. Uh, ah! Ooh, this is cool. I've seen this. 
Don't you use a chorus fruit? There's a button I'm going to press now. Nope, you don't use a chorus fruit. I saw that in a video. And I saw that as well. That's a cool little... That's a really interesting horse stable, actually. Sorry, I didn't mean to feed you. And you actually just walk out to get out? So, I was going to start um, a stable committee with False and with Pearl. But the design that I had, I think this one's better. And I think, honestly, you could probably dress this up so aesthetically it achieved the same thing. The walking on the pressure plate at the front might be an issue, but that's got a pathfind out there at the same time. Possibly you could have an observer underneath the fence gate, send a signal around... Or sorry, the other way around, like, you can probably detect when a player is on top of here because the hitboxes will change. So, like, you have a hitbox detector up here at this height. That would be a piece of string in an observer, which wouldn't be the prettiest thing to look at. And then you wouldn't have to deal with the pressure plate. I could see this, like, both working and failing, but that clearly works. Anyway, I, I think I think that alone is, like, a pretty darn good um, thing to have, you know? I saw this in Efo's base as Hammer's Concepts. Ah, okay, so it's made its way... Uh, Around the server, it would seem. So yeah, this is this is impulse uh, impulse Skiz's base, and I believe it's based on Maslow's pyramid of needs or whatever it's called. But I, I'm gonna guess he's probably not even here. Someone's been look at all that copper. I want it. Can I confiscate it? I'm loving the amount of ho horse and boat people. See, I'm not a boat person, but I could be. Like, we could have some waterways and use a boat to get around. Banner says, uh, Badger says, so glad he shrunk his plans down. I actually saw the image that got shared of what it would look like when it was finished. And I thought, I thought the scale was amazing. Definitely on the large side, but it, it goes a bit higher than the mountain over there. But scale is important. I, I just I just thought it looked really cool, like an ominous obelisk of some sort. Badger says good build, bad place for it. Maybe I don't know. What do I know? Oh, you're saying that Skiz is there? Oh, okay. Let's go back. Let's head back. You should have seen it before he scaled down. I literally just said that, like, I saw the fully scaled thing. And I don't even know if y'all have seen that. I saw the full, fully finished, fully scaled thing, and I thought it looked great. Like, I love that it went higher than the mountain, but I can see how maybe, yeah, it was a bit a bit on the big side. Uh, Cambo, thank you ever so much for the prime. Appreciate it, my dude. I think my chat's just trolling me. He's not here. We all remember Cub's Pyramid. Mmm. Cub's Pyramid, yeah. That was that was some mega stuff right there. Actually, I can literally see him. I Literally on the edge of my screen, all of a sudden, I just saw, like, something sparkly and diamond moving around. <laughs> like, just out of the corner of my eye. That was uh, very convenient. Hello? Hi. Look at this guy. Hey! What's up, buddy? Hey, Not I'm much. streaming right now. Are you streaming? I'm streaming too, yeah. Um, hey. I thought oh, I would guy. come over and I would be like, what are you up to? Because I don't <laughs> normally do that. I don't normally go around and pester <laughs> people, but the, all the socializing has been so fun. Mm-hmm. So It's definitely not pestering. That's the wrong word. It's fantastic to see you over here, X. Oh, thank you. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a pest. I don't like. I don't want to barge not, in dude. on anything anyone else is doing. But at the same time, like you know, if you're having people. If you need some help, whatever, like, be cool to hang out. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you help me solve this problem? Can you do this for okay, me? Okay, okay. What's the problem? <laughs> He's like, I didn't think he'd take me up on it. All right, here's what I want to do. I want to. I just did it. I split the water 
I guess I made a water source. That's what happened. Hold on. Maybe I figured it out. Yeah, you made one on. possibly by putting the glow lichen in the water stream and then made an extra one. Is that right? So I, I, what I want to do is I want... Hold on. I, I had this two seconds ago. How did I mess this up? You can, you can, have, want... um, you can have it suppress. You can use the glow lichen to suppress it. Uh, watch this. Okay. So, like, it doesn't flow over it. Okay, that's good. That's actually good. So we need to, so it doesn't flow over it, which means I need it to be out by one, I think. I need the, the stream to come straight down on the sides here. So it won't, it won't flow. Oh, oh, I think I can help you with this. Um, Yeah, okay. Here's the thing about water. It always like, it flows to the lowest point. And because of that, well, you, yeah. can do, you can do some like really interesting stuff with it. Maybe I do need to go one lower. Yeah, I think that's right. Check it out, homie. What if I do this, bro? Like this, and then I come up here, dude. Come on, baby. And if I put the glow like in there, maybe like right there, and then I put the water source up here, bro. What do you say? Like like this, like so. And yeah, it goes over the top of it. Now, yeah, but that sucked. That didn't. That's not what I want. I well, want you want it to split. Yeah. Okay. So put a yeah. put a glow like, like if I put a block here, it'll go either side. It also comes out to the front. So what we wanted to have done is already had a block in that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, hold on. Why is this so hard for me? I did it with a block. I, I did. I pulled it off with a block, but I was hoping to not have the block there because it's just so, it's so invasive, you know? Oh, I, I think I think I can help you with that too. You just need another piece of glow lichen. Let's go. I got Let's several here. Grab that. So we'll, we'll replace this with glow lichen. Now... When you when you put down uh, the water bucket oh. this time, it'll go either side. The the thing that's going to be difficult is getting it to not flow over the front without a block update. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so like currently it's good. This is what you want right down here. I do. Okay, now when we break that block there, this is probably where it's going to go wrong. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. What you have to yep. do is you have to um. It's kind of hard to remember, but you have to sort of like not update the water and trick it into thinking it's flowing to the to the oh, lowest gotcha. point. Dude, I did. So how was it I was able to do? I, so I thought a glow like would be the same thing as taking up an entire space, like block space. But uh, because I was able to pull it off. How did I do it, everybody? I, it actually looked really good when I did it without glow like but I did not like the block where it was. Where see those two holes is where I wanted to come straight down. Hmm trying to think it, 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 it can be done it's just it's just like oh it's one of these things like it's hard the mechanics are there in the game but i never mess around with them like this bro check this out homie buddy that'll do it that will do it but like you said once i remove that block yeah then it's gonna flow let's, let's see let's do this let's go pop okay so that should split and go straight down okay that's what we want but that block is stupid yeah. Gosh darn it. There's a, there is a way. It's driving me nuts because it's. Oh. <laughs> X, you, this does not have to consume your stream, buddy. That's not what this is. This is a, uh, if you happen to. This is like when you ask something, like you go to the grocery store, you're like, do you know what the AA batteries are? And like 40 minutes later, you're walking around with that employee. You're like, never mind, dude. It's okay. Pick it up your entire shift here. And then, and then they get obsessed with it and like they're trying to figure out yeah. where it is too. I want to know the answer because there, there's definitely a way to do this. Um, maybe string or a trap door, people are saying, maybe. A stair to a stair in the splitting point. A stair. All right, let me, let me have a peek at that. Like uh, a stair right there. I mean, oh, or right here, maybe. Ooh, maybe that. What if I do that? Let me do that. Let me go in here. I'm going to get stair, a stair. A stair can be waterlogged. That can sometimes be useful. Yeah, but I mean, would we have to intentionally water log it? I'm not sure. You know I mean? really, I, like, I really want to go read that. There's like a, there's like a Minecraft wiki article on this stuff. I really want to go read it now. Is but, there? <laughs> yeah, there's like, it shows you all the tricks and I just can't remember how it works. Because it always, look, like it flows to the lowest point, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like maybe right there. What, what are you thinking, homie? Like, maybe what you need is the water source actually directly above, like the glow lichen. Direct. Oh, I'm the assistant sleep master. I gotta go nap. 
Like, look at look at look at what I'm doing here. Ah, <gasps> uh, is it because you got to Oh, I think I think I know how it's done. Okay. Look at this. Listen to his brain go. I love it. Okay, but can it can it be done here? So, right, we've got the glow light in. That's good. So, like, look at look at this water source here, right? This is sort of if we imagine this is what's going on up there. Like, it hasn't yeah, yeah. gone to that spot because we didn't update it. If I update it, it flows into it. But if I do this at the side, it doesn't. It doesn't go off the edge because there's a block alongside it. If I put a hole there and then update it, it flows. Now it should. Yeah, yeah. So you need a water source block the other side of that. Mm. Let's go up here. Right, now it's flowing down to the lowest point, And when I break this, it shouldn't flow out. Up. up. Oh! No yes! way. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> And so that glow That's lichen, amazing. is it because is it because of the glow lichen? Like if we broke that gl glow lichen, it would fall straight down, right? Yeah, it's 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 doing that because of the order in which we updated the water, right? So oh, okay, okay. I'll just I'll do it again here, right? Like I put the bucket down and it goes to the lowest points. Okay. Yeah. So I can actually break this block next to it and not update it, right? But if there's a hole below it and I break that, then it's going to flow it. into it. So it it literally has like pathfinding yeah. logic in it. Yeah. So the trick is you break the block there first, and then you break the next one below it, and then it stays flowing to either side, and you've got this gap here. Oh my god. Okay. Yay! Woo! I was useful. <laughs> Dude, super useful. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Where did oh. I just saw Hypno? Where'd Hypno go? Yeah, he came over and said like Fa fascinating and then boom off he's gone and then he just like him no <laughs> oh. hey uh listen i was just talking to my people uh in my chat and i had mentioned uh some of them had never even heard of the immense kids podcast you guys should know uh mr x himself was on it i was yeah. indeed yeah yeah it was, and it was great i really enjoyed being on man thank you again like it was a pleasure you, you guys have got an amazing thing going with that podcast you know. these nice things too he's just such a nice guy you, you were but but also like it was it was a great podcast if you guys want to check that one out and and it was uh with the way we like superimposed your minecraft uh square <laughs> yeah. and and it was it i did all the like the kind of animated the coloring around it so every time you spoke but it was like it was like you were there man and it was just it was great it was fascinating yeah it was really good fun and uh we have this friday um that we'll have a, we got ren diggity dog coming on uh, oh, Friday, awesome! So, yeah, he was get excited. great. Yeah, he was absolutely great. W what a delight! And I think you guys are all gonna like it. I will certainly he, be tuning in. And he told, he told. Let me put a, I want a little teaser. A little teaser, everybody. So, I'm just gonna say, yesterday I was on the server, and they were false. Was razzing Ren, and she was like, Ren, tell me you've never been in sales or something to that. Like, it was so funny. Like they were having this like razzing moment. And I said, funny story. Well, why don't you watch on Friday? I'm going to tell you now that Ren told a story that is related to sales. That is one of the funniest things I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. It is. And I don't even, I'm going to, that's, I'm going to leave it right there. So make sure you guys check it out. Cause it, I don't even know if it was in the first or second one, but it is so funny. Oh, spoiler. There's two parts. Brent, Ren's got yeah. a lot of fun, funny stories. He's a good storyteller. Oh, he really, really is, dude. Big time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make this a black entrance so you just kind of are sucked into the abyss as you enter. Ooh. And then see, so you you know what I'm doing here, X? Do you know what this is gonna be? Oh, this isn't this Maslow's pyramid right. of needs, yeah. That's right, yeah. And so this layer here is physiological, right? So the, the five layers are physiological, which is just what the body needs. Air, water, sleep, food, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then you move into security, right? Which is a basically security really is a continuation of the physiological and it's making sure that you've got all that stuff locked up, right? You have enough food, you have enough water, you have shelter, you have all that stuff. That's what the second layer up there is going to be. And then after that is love and belonging. That's when you need community and family and brotherhood, sisterhood, stuff like that. After love and belonging, which will be a layer four up there is going to be esteem. That's more inwardly focused, um, making sure that you... Uh, you have value that you're actually offering something to that community that you stand out that you feel good about what you're doing 
And then very, very top, uh, about like less than 5% of the population reaches it. It's called self-actualization. Yeah. And it's when the self is so taken care of that you can actually start to serve and you can start to identify what you're here on the planet to do. So the first one, it's going to be basically getting from this layer to the second layer is going to be very, very tough. It's going to be hard to get there without starving to death, without without um, drowning oh, wow. and stuff like that. Yeah. It's going to be like so an experience. It's an experience just to get to that second level is supposed to be an experience. And I'm just kind of, it's swimming through my mind, but I'm liking the idea of it. So I want to make it kind of dark and dank in here so I can start to get the feel of what I want it to look like. So uh, that's why I wanted to split this water channel here and then it'll be all black concrete. So it'll just sort of take the, just take the light away from you. I want people to fear, feel despair the second they come in. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and just the idea of getting to security because imagine if you were dropped right now, completely naked into the middle of the Amazon. Just imagine that feeling. No tools, yeah. no food, nothing. You're dropping in the middle. Instantly, you are you would be at that very bottom layer. Make yeah. sure you can, know you know, especially if you're dropped into the water, underwater. Right now, you can't. I would venture, bro, that the first layer itself has many layers, right? So yeah. there's a thing, like, if somebody is 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 uh, very, very hungry, uh, that's that's in this. They're starving to death. That's not good. But if they're drowning, they're going to take care of getting oxygen then before they take care of getting food. You know mm. what I mean? So, do you, do you ever take uh, cold showers? I do not. I've heard great things about them, but I hate it. I I, I hate the cold. <laughs> yeah, me me too. I used to really like it when I was younger, but as I got older, it's uh, I don't know. But whenever I take a cold shower, like and and I get out, and you know, like I always I always just think like imagine that now you're just not in this home with all this convenience you know the radiator's on you got a towel you're gonna get dressed or whatever like and go get some food like imagine if you were just now transported to some arctic terrain you know yeah drenched yeah. in cold water like all of a yep. sudden you'll feel so weak and vulnerable yep absolutely a hundred percent dude and that, and that's you're, you're right it's, it's such a uh because when you're when you get cold, like, do you ever realize when you get cold, the first thing to really go is like, is your fingertips and your toes, right? Like you, yes, you feel the yeah. pain in your hands. And that's because the body is like, hey, we're freezing to death. We have to protect what matters. And so all that blood goes to your core to protect your heart and your organs and all that. Mm. And so that's why you feel the fingertips and everything go, you know, go, go, go first or whatever. The body itself recognizes that it's in demise and it starts to try to salvage anything it can. Even the body is like, we can let the arms go, the legs, we can, those can all die off, yeah, but we gotta yeah. protect the heart and the lungs and all that. Interesting. You could, uh, you should have a rule, like take off your armor and all of that stuff. Like you gotta enter oh, here, in oh, here oh, naked. 100%. <laughs> you're, there'll be no armor and you're gonna come in here hungry. Like you're actually gonna probably, you know what I mean? There's, it's gonna be, you wanna start already hurting. So you gotta, you gotta get the food that you can. You gotta, you have to, and the, there's gonna be, there's gonna be moments you have to swim great distances in a wow. one wide and it's going to be like can you get there can you figure it out in time to get a little bit of air or whatever so such an amazing uh, concept be, man yeah. i like i've never heard something so i don't know deep and involved and related to philosophy just kind of like transposed into minecraft well i mean thank you but i gotta tell you i uh, full disclosure i was so overwhelmingly motivated by what i felt when i played decked out that I was like, I'll, I'm never going to be able to do the decked out thing. That's just, I, you have to know what you are and what you're not. I'm never going to be able to pull off what he pulled off. However, maybe I can try to harness a similar experience where you're so engrossed and you're so pulled into it that at least you're, it's, it's, uh, we just did a podcast on this on immersive gaming, right? I'm, I'm hoping if I can subtly somehow pull off people going through this and forgetting for a moment that they're doing, that they're in Minecraft. I'll feel very accomplished because when I did decked out, bro, I completely forgot I was playing Minecraft. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I it's completely like, forgot. It's the game it's within so a game. Well yeah, absolutely. That's a really good goal to have. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's fascinating. I can't wait to see it evolve, man. Yeah, I'm excited. What are you What are you doing today, bro? Well, I kind of left my uh, my my whatever my plan open. I was just like, I'm actually not gonna like try and focus on anything and just let stuff happen. Um, nice. So I don't really know what I've been up to because I've been stuck in a hole building a farm yesterday and then doing little details on my base. I mean, I've got little projects going on here and there. You know how it is. Doing all oh, the yeah. Minecrafty stuff. Yes, I do. You got a shop up yet? Yep, I'm selling copper, a couple of walls, terracotta, but like nothing nothing terribly interesting. Just a little pop-up stand. I, yeah, did, yeah, uh, yeah. I did introduce some some counterfeit diamonds. 
<laughs> Counterfeit diamonds? Yeah, yeah. I uh, <laughs> I had an idea that required the old diamond texture, and then I thought, that's not a good idea. Why don't I use this for shenanigans? And uh, Cleo, Cleo didn't notice, and then when she found out she had counterfeit diamonds, she used them to buy stuff from my shop. <gasps> so I am going to build a prison, and I'm throwing <laughs> you in it, dude. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm getting myself in trouble. Dang. That's brilliant, dude. I love it. That you know, now we're gonna have to start holding the diamonds up to the sunlight to see uh if if they're legit or not. It's it's a good it's, test, I'll tell you, because like they look they do look similar, you know? Yeah. The old and the new. How many That's years cool, have you man. been playing Minecraft then? Well, it's embarrassing to say, to be honest. Uh over ten. I've been playing I mean I started playing over ten years ago. <laughs> That's not embarrassing. I've been playing for over 10 too. I thought you were going to say like, oh, I started no, no. a few years ago or whatever. I was like, No, 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 no. The embarrassing part is that after uh, all this time, I'm still legitimately very, very bad at the game, right? And I'm fine <laughs> with that. Like, But the bottom line is all my playtime, like I've, I feel like I've evolved a lot just in the last few weeks. And the reason is this. Every time I've played before, it's been for entertainment, like solely entertainment only, right? So the, the naked and scared... Uh, that was, it was, we were never building. We were never designing. I didn't care about anything. It's just a series that impulse and I did. That was all about survival. Then I would do the snapshot series where it was just about exploring the new, the new things in the snapshot. I never placed a single block and really gave a crap about what it looked like. Yeah. This is the first time ever. And so I, this has been very tough for me because I'm just not a builder. I'm not artistic in that realm. And I'm, I'm surrounded by just complete artists, but it's been a growing experience for me and they have been wonderful. Like I'm getting a lot of tutoring. I'm getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with some of the greater builders and I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. And you know, so I feel like I'm, I'm evolving a little bit and I'm, I'm enjoying it very, very much. It's been great. Yeah. That's fantastic, man. I, I've heard that story a couple of times though. Like you, you join Hermitcraft and then all of a sudden your whole Minecraft game has to change up, right? Yeah, absolutely. You cannot build terrible. And, and, and so now every block I place, I'm like, oh, am I upsetting somebody? But I'm like, ah, you know what? If the answer is yes, it's yes, and then maybe they'll come talk to me. Uh, but uh, but I'm but I'm just I'm just loving it. Every yeah. time I log on, I just feel joy. It's it's a fantastic season. There's um there's a there's a, a meta that I want I want to become the thing that everyone says right. Season ten out of ten. Hey, yeah. I like that. Not that it's the last season, just that it's no, the no, best no, season. No, no, no. <laughs> or a best yeah. season, yeah. It's been I utterly fantastic. But dude, no, you're like you're doing great here, man. Don't ever feel like what you're doing in the game isn't good enough in any way. Because as you've shown right here, like you have an amazing concept. You're gonna do something totally different from the regular thing, you know? Thanks, you're bringing man. you're bringing your own flair to the group. I think it's fantastic. See, and there's that too, is the amount of support like Scar said something similar when I when I pitched this to him. He's like, "Yeah, dude." He's like, "That's very different, man." And he was it was very complimentary. Uh oh, ah, uh, you know what I hear right now? I hear the garbage truck, and I did not bring the recycle out front. That's on me. <laughs> oh. But uh, the but Scar said the same thing, and that just you know it's very it's very comforting. So it makes me it what it does is it makes me feel very comfortable to move forward with ideas, knowing that uh, I've got the, the you know. So for example, come here over here. This was great. This was a great moment between Jem and myself. I have never in my entire life ever terraformed, ever. And she helped me terraform. Ooh. This whole thing was a complete hole and she helped me terraform this whole thing. And she just had the greatest ideas and she kind of walked me through uh, how her mind approaches it. And now I feel uh, like I can, I, now I have the confidence to at least uh, like tackle a terraforming project. It might not be great, but before I was like, I wouldn't even know how to start. And now I feel confident in my ability to start because you know, she took me under her wing on this one, and I'm, and I'm grateful for that. So it's a great crew. This this looks gorgeous, by the way. Um, hey, isn't she amazing, dude? So yeah, good. She, absolutely. Good. With, with the terraforming stuff, I used to really struggle with it too. But the other hermits helped me with that as well. And one of the things that I've uh, never let go of is like when you when you create like that palette of blocks. Uh, you've actually got some here with some of your shading. I see. I see how it works. It's like it transitions from the darker to the lighter, right? As it goes up. Yeah, yeah. It'll be actually be pearly white by the time it gets to self actualization. I've I've seen the picture. It looks super cool. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. I was telling my stream before. I was a big fan of the original size of it, but yeah, you know, it it, it, it probably did lean on the obnoxious scale. <laughs> it was too big. I, I, I didn't think. I, it I liked it, but yeah. Um, <laughs> 
when you're when you're working with a larger palette of blocks and you're trying to randomize it because you know you want um like like with this area here right like i mm. find it's really helpful to have little rules that underpin how you randomize the blocks like when you place cobble they're always in groups of three and four and when you put cobbly moss it's more like seven and eight and make sure you put a couple of moss blocks in it and okay you're sort of creating a blueprint for like something that the brain will pick up because it will sort of understand those patterns but it will give it more mm. of a story it'll be less just random noise and have more cohesion so um i'm yeah. not sure quite what the thinking was here like it it this just totally works but there could be a rule of like um, Jem's thinking, you know, I'm going to put the mossy blocks closer to water than the other ones because that naturally tells a story of, like, the water helping the moss form on the, the rock, water. right? Yeah, 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 exactly. And, and those ideas, yeah. they don't need to be genius. They don't need to be really clever and have logical sense. I think they just, if there's a few of those in what you're doing, um, that they'll just naturally sort of reveal themselves when you look at them and, and make sense, you know? Yeah, agree. Can that's you, can that's you do my me a favor. Yeah. This is, can I do can, first of all that that see what I mean this is what I'm talking about already like this like the, these conversations are are freaking awesome and that was really well put so that's something I'm gonna take it with me okay let me I can't believe this I'm see this is what I'm talking about 10 years I didn't know you could enchant shields can I take a peek at what that is <laughs> <laughs> what yeah what kind of a I've never tried to enchant a shield before what is this? Got mending, got unbreaking. Mending and unbreaking. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense. I mean, I'm I was a... like, what is, I thought maybe it was like bounce back and stuff. Somebody shoots an arrow at you and you hold that, that up be and cool. it comes back at them. Yeah. That's actually when you block and an arrow, like if you shot an arrow yeah. at me right now, do you have bow and arrow? I do. So you should ping one at me. And it just, oh, I got you! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what it can do, man. Try again. Try again. How did that... <laughs> it pings back. Do you have thorns? You have thorns? No, no, no. Like the the arrow will literally bounce off. I, I think there might be like some directionalness as well. So like if I no, aim it up does a not. Bit, it totally. You were just glowing. You've got two arrows in you. Two arrows. F five. It right. Yeah, shoot me again. Okay, here we go. Now, did that one go upwards a bit more? I don't know. Can't I went tell. to F five. Do it. Do it one more time. One more time. feels like it so shortens it, the range of it. I, I can't tell, though. So I said it would be cool if you could bounce arrows off and hit somebody, and now you're doing that? Yeah. Yeah, you just, just block and look directly at me. Okay. Uh, let's go use the glow arrow so you can really see it in its okay. glory. Uh-huh. How far? How far? Do it, do it from there. Okay. Oh, I missed. You missed. Terrible <laughs> shot. Dude, did that okay, hit? so it bounced... It, it did, but it, it bounced back like a block. Okay, it might be like a momentum thing. Like, maybe if I'm, like, shooting you from here and then jump out of the way, maybe... Did it, <laughs> how far did that go? I didn't even see. One, two, three, four blocks. Oh, interesting. I, I, I'm so... I'm not getting what's happening. I, 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 that's... What? I mean, I've seen <laughs> it before where there's a skelly up on me and I block them and then it hits them, but I thought it was just, like, falling down on them. Look, from above, whatever it, dang it, <laughs> you missed. I need to look, I need to look. Okay. Hey, buddy. Uh oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, that, oh, that's, that's going to be so hard. Because I totally can't see it. And okay, wait, wait, is it in front of me? I think it's, oh. What? What is it? You can't shoot yourself. This is like my specialty. <laughs> okay. Oh, now he's just like. Hey! Oh! Hey. What's what? going on? What do you got? A poison arrow or something? Oh, I think I was juggling it like it was oh, bouncing you got on the that. top you... of the shield. Dude, you got yourself right in the jugular, bro. Oh. Took a dart to the neck. Oh, that don't look good for my health. <laughs> yes! That's awesome. Uh, I'm a, I speak in oh. movies. That's amazing. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's nice. the shield. Look at me though, like, right? I'm, I'm kind of in wimp mode, just always decked out with like, you know, all the enchantments, <laughs> netherite, and a shield everywhere I go, even though it's just peaceful around here. Ooh. I was rocking oh. nothing for a while. You got yourself a skull. My first one, I broke the curse, bro. Nice. I broke it. It took, it took me here. Let me. It took me ready. I think I'll do this minus. 
I have killed, uh, where is it? I have killed 128 Wither Skellies with looting three. I have one skull. Wow. <laughs> I yeah. I think I got all of your bad luck because I I killed like about I don't know, ten and got like five skulls the other day, like literally that's, in a few minutes I had five skulls. It was ridiculous. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Dude, Tango came with me. I said he. I said my luck is. I don't know if you saw that clip, but Impulse and I went hunting. He just kept getting skull after skull after skull. After I had killed like 112 of them, I had had enough and I threw my sword at him. I said, you know what? Just go get it from that guy. He picks up my sword and he gets it in one shot. Dang. And I was just like, you got to be kidding. And then so Tango came with me and Tango got two skulls within six kills. I'm like, this is making me crazy. Yeah, I've killed about double the amount of Wither Skeletons as you. And I think I've got about at least 20 skulls. It does feel like there's something quirky going on this season with that stuff though, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, something's odd. But I finally got my first one, so I'm feeling good. Nice. When are you gonna fight raid? fight a wither though? That'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I I have, but have you done I that in naked and scared? Jet. Like, got on as far uh, as to get a wither kill. I yeah, I think we did. No, I know we did. Um, but we didn't like put it out in the open. We put it in a tunnel. Oh yeah, that's that always way. that's an easy way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I've been that doing. <laughs> Again, uh, decked out in netherite with my shield, fighting a wither in a tunnel. That's yeah. what I do, thanks. All right, my dude. Thank you for uh, entertaining me for a little while here. This this base is awesome. I love it. This was a delight, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the help on the water, dude. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> no problem. No problem. I really, really appreciate if it. You, if you're curious at all and you look into those mechanics, you can actually do like some really weird stuff with it, like create floating water art, where you kind of like build oh, the yeah, water yeah, yeah. out and trick it into where it needs to flow. It's cool. I've seen that in the only, the only uh, like downfall or whatever you want to call it is the fact that if somebody like blinks too hard or sneezes the whole thing comes <laughs> yeah apart. It get, yeah that's it it gets one little update and it's like uh oh I, took, I spent an hour building that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. all right my dude thank you again yeah. i'm gonna go uh Bye, brother. wander around for a little bit <laughs> yeah you be well man talk to you soon i'll see ya that was fantastic well uh we'll go we'll go wander through the neighborhood and see if there's anything going on over there. Yeah, Skiz is, Skiz is such a great guy. I'm glad to have him uh, here on Hermitcraft. We got Ace TII subscribing. Thank you, Ace. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Silver says successful socializing. Indeed, that was good. That was good fun. Have we got a data pack for more Wither Skull drops? Uh, we don't. We don't. It's just, there's just been quirkiness this season with like the reach and a few other odd things. Like the other day, my breaking animation was totally messed up. Like I would click on a block and it would like be fully breaking and then disappear and then the block would break and it just looked, ugh. And I don't know, like, and now this thing with the drop rates, like, it just seems really odd. Usually, thinking back to previous seasons of Hermitcraft, Usually, like, everyone's just moaning about how hard it is to get Wither Skulls, and it feels like there's something wrong because you're not getting them. Never have we all been sat around going, oh my god, like, we're getting so many skulls. Something Is something broken? Has this gal been doing a little bit more work on this thing over here? Oh, the castle's looking glorious. Yeah, he's definitely adding some bits and bobs to it. That's cool. It's Ren, Ren was online, wasn't he? Ren was in the nether, though. Doing nether things. Oh, did Iskal find his shulker boxes? I think he did. I think they would have rendered in by now. <laughs> uh, me and Cleo put all of his shulker boxes into the trash. Because they were a mess. I wonder if he's... Oh, look. Is this like a wall around it now? That that looks to me like something he's built himself. Not a... Uh... Oh, look. He's literally AFK right here. Yes, go. Um, yeah, he's he's done this, hasn't he? It's, it's, it's probably spoilers. Cool looking thing. Yes, go. You are AFK.
Oops. <laughs> I mean, he's safe now before you, before you say I'm pranking. Like, what if it turns to night? This chest situation is honestly terrifying. It is, yeah. It is, it is. Right, I think we'll uh, we'll head back to the base. I kind of want to go on an adventure. <laughs> you know? It's like I said earlier, um, I really wanted to be a bit more social because like yesterday it was all, oh, I'll go back and work on my farm. And then Ren and the group went on this uh, little tour around the server, wrangling people in and trading permits. And I was just stuck in a hole. <laughs> underground you know building a farm so we started to work on this little bit over here why walk no horse um because we don't we haven't really set up like the like we need to set up a bunch of places where you can drop your horse off properly and not have it wander around i mean i could always put a hole in the ground but that's kind of kind of dull uh by the way my villagers over here disappeared right that's kind of annoying I've got one left, but I need two more farmers in there. So, I really don't like leaving stuff unfinished, but honestly, I don't think it's a big deal if we just leave two of them. Because um, I want to tear that out. I was thinking about putting some villagers in my base, but I think we'll probably get by without them. So, this thing needs to go at some point, but I'm going to leave it be. Uh, we started working here on the aesthetic, and I think it's just missing a few elements. I don't know if I want to do this right now. I did want to go back and look at the palette a bit more. See, I like to I like to have um, like a bit of a plan and a bit of an inspiration before I get stuck in with something. Not really feeling that today. There was, I do have a few ideas floating around in my mind for something else we could do. Do you have any strong feelings on view bobbing? Did I have it turned off? Yeah, mine's turned off. So, I guess that's my preference, right? If you replace the wall in the breeder with water, with soul sand under it, the villager won't get pushed out and trapped in the wall. Oh! Yeah, I know what bit you're on about. Well, you know, I could go change it, but like... My villagers disappeared. In theory... Like, how would anything get in there to kill it? Like, they disappeared. Where's the, If a zombie got in there, where is it now? There's a roof on it, so it wouldn't have burned up. Like, I don't know why they disappeared. Lightning. Um, no, the, the roof would have protected them, right? Like, there's a roof above it, so... That shouldn't have been a thing. Did I consider asking Cleo? Asking Cleo what? Someone else says Cleo. Oh, lightning affects them in a radius. Cleo might have stolen them. I don't think Cleo would have stolen them and not said anything. Permits don't do that. Come on. Cleo stole Doc's villages. Yeah, but that was that was like an on-camera telling you she's doing it thing. You know, as part of the story, not... Is there like a floaty beacon thing over there? No, that's just the roof of uh, another shop. Uh, we got some cheers and biddies from John Sonius. Says, How does your honey block elevator work? You step in, go to the back corner. Now you're in the water stream. And then pressing the note block will power the uh, trap door above you so you can go up higher. If you want to go down, you just slide along the honey block like that. And that's pretty much it. You could even put a button at this level here, which is a smaller hitbox than a note block, and that would also activate the trapdoor. John says I didn't see the water stream. Ah, yeah, it's it's behind the honey block, so you have to go into the corner for it, basically. Is uh, the way that that works. Yeah, what kind of resources have we got for building here? Been in the mood to do some stuff with uh, bamboo. I've been thinking about 
doing something with the waterfront down here. But again, it's just, it's not quite where my head's at right now. I, th I think, I think I know there's, there's something that I could uh, quite easily do here that needs, needs to be done. Uh, do I want the, not really actually. Oh, there was a reason I didn't want to do this earlier is because it was going to use redstone resources again. We should probably, we should probably just go caving, um, and try and get some more redstone perhaps. For now. Inner truss as well. Assuming your place looks great. Thank you. Yeah. And as for working on this, this room here needs a little detail. I'm just, I'm like, I'm just discovering that I think right now, today, I don't really have um, the sort of itch to do stuff like this. I could maybe work on this area a little bit more. Anyway, we take our time. We figure out what, what we're going to do. Any suggestions of anything or anything you want to remind me of in chat, that would be most welcome. Is that a pumpkin statue outside? Yeah, and I've actually got I've actually got like another one of these that's supposedly going to go over here, but I haven't had the time to introduce it. I've got some decorative plans for this area here, but um, I need to figure out more things that I need to decorate it with. Like there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs doing. That doesn't always necessarily mean... You're in the right frame of mind to do it. And I I, I want to do the thing, you know, that makes sense. And I kind of really do need some more redstone. Do I have a design ready for the copper farm? I do not. I do not. Taking it easy, remember. Taking it easy. <laughs> Captain Jassans says, I love Jack. Yeah, a really cool little uh, statue. We need, to, we need to put a bit more of that around the place. Is this my starter base? Do I plan to move out later this season, says Talbar. I think what I'm going to do is find like a, a, like when I need to upgrade my storage and I've got more farms to do that. I think I'm going to build a bigger storage area, but not, not have it as a base, have it as like a utility spot to go and organize all my stuff, right? So it's less of this big thing that I have to work around. And I think I want to pivot so once this this temple is done, I might build a third temple. But I sort of want to pivot to doing little projects around the server, like be be kind of all over the place, you know. Uh, let's see. So we use glow lichen, we use bushes, vines. What else? Mossy cobble. I think I need some of that. I think a lot of it is in my ender chest. Well, actually, there'll only be one stack there. I need to build a moss farm soon as well. Goodness me. All these all these to-dos all the time, right? Ah, go, in, go into one of them. I just took you out. You go back in. I think that belongs in this chest over here. What were the columns in the two top room? I think you're thinking of the decorated pots up there. That will probably be it. Right, I said other types of bushes. Um, they're not in here, though. What else do we use for decorative? Uh, glowberries. That's a good one. Okay, and then the leaves. We're just going to have to pinch some from in here. I'm going to go with oak. Since when can you craft mossy cobblestone with moss and cobblestone? Since they added that to the game. <laughs> uh, Dino Command. Did I just read this one out? I feel like I just read your name out. Hey X, not the first time I've ever caught you live. But the first time I've caught you live without my phone being dead. Right. Okay. Um, I'm I kind of thinking that like... <laughs> Why is the phone relevant? I don't know. Let's uh, let's go and put some of this glow lichen around the place, and these these other bushes, because this one needs a little bit of treatment too, doesn't it?
The random, the random spots of uh, glow lichen are easy enough. Oh yeah, I wanted to build like a, a garden up the top here at some point. That's kind of part of the plan. So probably, probably not a good idea to be too intrusive in this spot. We'll, uh, we'll leave it for some changes later on. Right, I'm gonna go around and put in a few bits of moss. Keep this thing looking good and fresh. And all of those blocks, they already got like the variations and stuff on them. That's cool. Remember what I was saying to Skiz a minute ago? Like I deliberately put a bit more moss around here just because that bit gets trodden over a fair bit more as, as with this bit here, right? Oh, do we have a spot where like a zombie can spawn? That looks like a zombie with a bow. It's a skeleton! Oh, sucker! Yep, they got items. Oh, this is annoying. Take that, butt kicker. Right. I want to get in and I want to get out. Glow lichen will stop things from spawning. The ender pearl will get me out. Uh, Natia loves the bushes. The bushes so much. There's a, there's a good opportunity for something a little more structured right here. A little more structured. This is where the ender chest comes into play. Uh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? That's a good question. I did something interesting over here. I'm not sure if I want to do that again, actually. Plus, they're like one, two, three blocks tall. They come up to there. I, I think it's going to be really, really simple. Oh, I don't have any trapdoors, do I? I just have logs. Like, I, I honestly think just putting three of these in a row. Or, or maybe actually, right, I need some moss blocks and some azalea bushes. Uh, moss is down here. I do think I might move the moss out of here at some point, actually. Like, the mossy cobble can stay, but my brain always associates the moss with these ones up here, right? And that one, you could possibly take out sugarcane or bamboo, or maybe the flower pot, and then just have the, the moss and the carpet together. Or put it in naturals would probably be a good one. There's two free slots for it in there. If I wanted to do that, I could actually do that right now. So I could take those, shuffle that one over, and put these over here, and now they're free. I think they belong better in this one. Right, now somewhere there are azalea bushes. I feel like they should be there, but they're not. What one are they in? Or did they get missed somehow? They... They were missed. They're not in here. I have to refer... I closed it. Dang it. I had my uh, shulker box organization thing open a little bit earlier. But I closed it. Hey X, I started a new world. I was wondering, is it better to go mine for iron in the mountains or go mining? Uh, go look at the wiki and look at the ore distribution. Because there's several places you can get iron at. Okay. Hermitcraft. Uh, chocolate boxes. Look at my layout. I know these were part of it. They must have been somewhere. They used to be. Aha! They. Oh! They used to be in the other one of that. This one. And then I split them up. Oh my god. Okay, so they were right under my nose. They were right under my nose. What is wrong with me? Let's grab one of those, two of the normal. Right, and then we'll pinch these blocks. That means we can plant these on top of them, right? And then on top we'll go that in the middle on either side. And then I think like we need some trapdoors, uh, jungle. And then I need, I need another thing, and I need another thing, and oh my god, there's a, there's a vibrant monster in front of us. I think, 
the free by free crafting in your inventory would just be an amazing little addition to have. Feels to me like there, there could be a little extra something here, like a light source. I'm picturing. Then it's going to need like some fence gates or something that comes off the wall. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll go a little bit on the light side here. Because I'm sick of crafting stuff for one. That, that kind of looks okay-ish. Actually, it kinda, I don't know. It don't look like much is the problem. How many of those tough blocks have I picked up? Because another block that I need to grab from the inventory. Another one. Oh my god. See what I mean? You're just trying to build. That's all you're trying to do. What if actually we didn't go iron bars? We just went with... Uh... That, that probably then means you want a lantern instead of a torch. Which I have. That'll probably sit a little nicer on top of that. Yep, yep, yep. I know what I'm doing. Now I'm thinking it needs things hanging down. Have I got hanging roots? So many items in this game. And then obviously... Oh yeah, I haven't been putting much glow like around this area. Like that's... That's going to do quite a bit for it. That randomization uh, goes on all the surfaces, really. I was about to say we're out. We're not out. We've got more. We've got more. <laughs> the red never vine hangs. Might be too bright, though. Those are some other little farms that I've got to build, and I just don't know where to put them. I have a very fussy brain. Right, I think I think here's another spot where you would have a lot of the mossy bit, right? What does it look like if we put a full Ooh, a couple of full moss over here, dang. Okay, and then again in this area just like a few of these will go a long way. Um and this, I think, is a good good spot for, like, a lot of growth. We're just... I don't know. The stuff's just been building up. Okay. Put some glow lichen in there. It can, like, come over the edge a bit. Uh, let's get a couple of these in there. Uh, I think that kind of does it. Glow lichen on the wall and on the floor occasionally. Right, and then I'm going to leave all of that there for a second. Small dripstone. Yeah, I have I have considered adding that to the palette, but I don't think it works. Could be wrong. I mean, we got some, so we could always try it. I think the dripstone is like literally. One of these? Yeah, there it is. This won't grow unless it's on dripstone, right? Where would we hang this? I mean, that's a very small bit. I feel like you could hang it off of this. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that looks right. I'm not sure if it looks right. You know my rule for when the leaves hang over, you put a flowering one on the bottom. We're doing that right there. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'll leave the one up the top. I'll have one, but no more. You need a water source above or it won't grow. Okay. Oh, Asuma is building the castle. It looks lovely. This, this is no castle. We're, uh, we're done building it. We're just sort of like detailing it as well is kind of what's happening here. One of the ways we do that is just slap this stuff just about everywhere. The 
Okay, let's go back to putting in a few blocks of moss here and there. Oh, that's the wrong block. There it is, there it is. Bam. But it's your home and your home is your castle. Apparently. Apparently it is. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back up. It's temple, right? What is the law for the worship? I'm not very good with law, so... Oh, is it me? Is it me or have those vines grown out of control a bit over there? Not sure that I like that. So where... Oh, that's one of those things. Where did it start to grow out of control? Myla glow lichen as I'm just out of everything. Oh my word. Eat some food. I think I need some iron. I need some new shears, if I remember correctly. They worship the derp. Apparently they do. Quite possibly forced to. Right, mob drops. Yuck. Uh huh. Grab that. So this one here. Almost done for. Now we use this one. Don dirt worshippers. Worshippers. That is pretty funny. I mean, dirt worshippers. Yeah. Got a bit of a ring for it. What are we up to? A couple of stacks. That's going to do me the rest of it, right? That'll do me the rest of it. Let me go back out the front again. Oh, it's looking better already just having like a few extra things here and there to rest your eyes on. They worship the Doom Slayer. I like that one. Let's go ahead and put like that there. And then I think I didn't expect it to come around to the front. I really don't want... Actually, I don't really don't want, like, a lot of vines. Hmm. I think I might just leave it. Let it let it grow back down and just put, like, that there. There. And then there's too much of it here, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, they could be a little tricky to contain, but I think that's a little better now. Oh! I landed! Sometimes, sometimes I double jump and tap space as if my elytra is going to let me glide. And I don't have an elytra. I'm still thinking it's season season 9. It's season 10, man. I ain't got no wings. Yeah, this area at the top here, I'm going to light it up with the glow lichen so stuff doesn't spawn, but I kind of want to leave this for a little bit of decorative work at another time, like something with a bit more of a plan. Uh, for now, though, we're going to continue with the leaves and stuff. Uh, let's grab... Uh, not there. There's just a couple there. Similar thing in this corner again, I think. Okay, and then a bit of moss in these spots. What? I, I middle clicked. Uh-huh. Right, so now, now I think it's the turn of the vine. A little bit of vine here and there. Ah, that'll be our next pass. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to standing. I've been sat for too long this stream, peeps. I'm gonna stand up. I just watched your last video. It was great. Commended that the textures used for the shulkers, if made onto a map that filled the frame, could be turned into a mini game where you filled a wall with lots of fake, expensive blocks. Yeah, I, I get where you're going with that. Um. The thing with the thing we're using custom textures is that there is some stuff that can actually be achieved and if you use custom textures 
you're sort of shortcutting that a little bit. So it's a good idea to do it for stuff where there isn't really like an alternative. By the way, I don't think vines grow up, so you could probably get away with a little less vineage if you think about it that way. So that will grow to the side. Uh, it would spread into that one, so we'll, we'll leave that like so. Uh, maybe down at this level too. You could also, when you put them down the bottom, you could put it there instead of on the block. Yeah, and then let's go for, uh, again, we said they don't grow up, so I don't need that one. A little bit of it here, I think. What are my permits? Um, copper is one of them. Okay. Just put one extra on that bit. Let's get a little growth uh, over the edge here. Bad, not bad. Need an ender pearl again. I like ender pearls a lot. Right, over here, let's go for something a little bigger in scale. Let's go for that. That won't spread, will it? And then maybe here on the corners. Yeah, uh, this is this is the dealio, man. Just randomly placing blocks. I say randomly, like you do. You give it a little bit of this and that. Let's have this uh, this bit here gonna go over the edge. Just heard a piston, and I was like, oh. You shouldn't be out here. <laughs> Free iron. I guess maybe my villagers thought they were in a village. And spawned a golem. Hey X, I think you can clip vines by right clicking them with shears to prevent them from growing. You can't do that with vines. That is not a thing. Uh, it's looking, it's actually looking pretty balanced already. Like, I, this area I really feel like I need to find other things to do with the bottom bit, but I'll tell you what, let's use the uh, free cam here. Like, it's not looking bad, is it? It's not too shabby. I can see another spot where I feel like I need some. Organic iron. That was some organic iron. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I kind of felt like there was maybe just a bit missing somewhere around here. Yeah, again, like... It's hard to it's hard to strike a balance and to know where's best to put them and, and stuff, but you're just gonna just gonna roll with it. Just keep moving around and placing stuff. Um I feel like a little bit back here is not a bad idea. A couple of spots of glow like in to have it grow. Let's put uh, a vine there. That can spread around the corner, I believe. Okay, that's looking all right. This bit, I don't know, this bit here feels a bit bare, maybe. Uh, we, can, we can have them go over the steps. There's no rules to this thing, other than the rules I impose. All right, I, I, I don't know. It's starting to feel like the top area maybe is kind of there now, right? I feel like it's kind of there. So the question is the bottom area, because I still can't figure this out. Like, I think the glow lichen's okay. The rooted dirts and the roots, I'm still not sure that they're the things that need to be in that spot. Um, 
this is this is cool. I don't want to repeat it too much, but I got a feeling the spruce might look good down there at the bottom. Any suggestions, chat? Oh, we never put any glowberries in. Not that there were many opportunities to. We need to do a pass on glowberry. Um, but look at this place. Like, it's much more open. There's more space to really have fun with it. But we still haven't figured out the bottom. So, suggestions for the bottom in in chat, if you if you will, that would be most welcome. Uh, this to me strikes me as a good spot. Hey, look, that organic iron has come in to be immensely useful. And then there's not like there's not really a lot of spots that give us the option to do that. Unless we want to hang them on the outside. That could that could possibly be the solution to our problems here. Like, what if this looks good? What if we like having these hang down in this space? Coarse dirt around the bottom is probably a good shout. Bamboo and string. A little bits of bamboo on, on coarse dirt. Maybe some patches of mud. I like what you're throwing at me here. Coral fans as rock. That's that's a creative one. I've not done any coral. Is that you know you know I was saying like I was looking for a little bit of venture or whatever. One thing we could definitely do is go visit a that biome where you get all those blocks and fill them up for you know what I'm on about coral reef. Do a little bit of that. This this almost works, but I, I feel like now we probably need to break it up a little bit down the bottom. So as for those ideas we just talked about. We've got the mud, we can make the muddy mangrove roots, we've got the coarse dirt, all of this stuff on hand. Uh, let's only just make a half a stack of that, just in case I decide uh, we're not really going to go in that direction. So, that's, you know, as, as long as we don't overdo it, I think it might make more sense to see it like that. Hmm. It, it, the way it brushes up against grass is kind of annoying. Like, you, there needs to be like a, a, a block, I think, that transitions grass to other textures. Because it's always like pretty harsh like this. That's kind of my concern about it. Mud's going to have the same problem. Glow lichen might help a little bit with the transition. And then maybe maybe the occasional spruce. Spruce. Like uh, a little bit of that. I don't know, it looks, that looks a little too erratic. That This just doesn't work at this height, I think, is the problem. Packed mud. Um, again, doesn't transition with the grass. Like, seeing dirt next to grass kind of works a little better for your eyes. Is what I think. Dead bushes would probably look really good down here, actually. Path blocks. That's an interesting suggestion. I have not considered using those. I think we need a chest tidy up. As we uh, poke through our options. Okay, I'm going to throw that over the edge. Goodbye. And the grass I'll hold on to. Um, can that go in there? No. What do we get out of this one? That. Okay, we tried root, we tried dripstone, we tried rooted dirt. Uh, moss can go back in. Podzol might be a nice one to use, but I don't know. Like I really don't. Oh, gravel. Gravel is an interesting idea. I really don't want to have anything. Oh, how the heck can I describe it? Like so many of the options are just very contrast heavy, right? Okay, we've got gravel here. And then we need a shovel. That's the thing I'm struggling to remember. Does that break? That doesn't break the glow like into the side. Okay, so we've got that now. I think I'm probably going to remove a lot of those glow berries, but we need to finish doing our pass there. I think we're definitely done with vines, right? Vines? Oh my god, this is... Where did I get vines from? I feel like vines is... Oh, I must have pulled it from somewhere else. That's full. Right. Hay bales? Nah, too much contrast. Um, that's kind of, that's kind of alright, actually, because of the way... Yeah, it messes with this other stuff. Oh, I don't know. It's just, we're just throwing things at it, and I think it might be too much.
There's got to be a little bit of sense making to this stuff. I, I don't think I'm going to go with the gravel. And I don't want more flint. I feel like we're just throwing too much at it now. Stripped spruce is a tiny bit of green hue. Yeah, but it's just it's just going to be so contrasty, right? That that from close up felt felt right, like having a few of these spread out in these spots. I think I, I think I'll have some some of those glowberries, but I think they got to be like sparing. Maybe try grass, moss, and concrete powder. They don't they don't go together well. They're um. They're really odd. The greens, the greens that you have, they just don't, they don't look nice to, to my eyes with grass. It's really strange because it seems quite obvious, but it, to me it don't work. Oh yeah, these bits here also need some glow lichen on them, right? They're part of all that. Use that shovel a bit more now. Can I like put that on there? Is that going to be a little easier for me? No. Ah! Okay, I'm immediately not using this anymore. Oh, and I picked up my trap door. Uh, spruce, 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 spruce. By the way, uh, four minutes ago, holy fire. Thank you ever so much for your Prime subscription. Appreciate it. Apologies for being a little engrossed in what I'm doing here. Dark green concrete sand. I don't think there is such a thing. Oh, I'm in a hole! Goodness me, all of a sudden in a hole. And there's copper. Oh. I feel like I have to mine it. This is this is pretty close to uh, what we got going on here. This needs filling in in big time. You mean concrete powder? Okay. How about a few berry bushes? I feel like I'm going to save the berry bushes for the clusters that we've got, right? Like... This is, this is the thing. I don't want to sort of like repeat the same thing a lot all over the place. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm supposed to do this at some point. Like zoom out and see if I like it or not. i got to say, again, I'm not massively sold on what we're doing here. But I think eventually you just got to pick something. Uh, King Krusty. Where the cheers and the biddies saying holy bit drop. Thank you for the bit drop. I appreciate it, my dude. Thank you for supporting the channel. Very kind of you to do that. How about some dark oak leaves as well? Ooh, they could probably fit in pretty well. I don't think I've got any of those, the issue. I definitely, I've skipped out on something that would fit in here, which is those roots. A little bit of that here and there. Let's grab some roots. Let's grab some whatever that person said a second ago. Oh my god, can I find that message again? Dark oak, that was it. Dark oak. Nope, uh, wait, Dark Oak? Jungle? Dark Oak's there, nah. I don't have any. Um, oh well. You have a whole land of the logs, but no Dark Oak leaves. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, I'm going to save that area. That area gets done another day, right? Maybe putting them down at that level. Again, it's just... I don't feel like anything fits with... Uh, with grass here. It's so weird. I find the grass just really its own thing. 
This isn't terrible though. I think coarse dirt you just you're kind of used to seeing dirt nearby grass, so it, it kind of works that way. I think. Dead bushes will blend with the browns and greens. Yes, that was another one we were going to try. All right, since we're around the back and we're running out of our glow like in. Time to get a little sparing with it, I think. Is that it? We're out. Oh, we're out again. Yeah, I'm going to save the rest since it's near the villager area. Um, won't go too crazy over here. Hey, I'm playing Doom 1993, so the game of your skin. That is the game of my skin, yeah. That is the game of my skin. It's an amazing game. still enjoy playing it every now and then. Got to play it again recently because of uh, Sigil, number two. That was a, a lot of fun. Glow lichen on the dirt. Interesting idea. Oh, I don't have any glow lichen. Could have tried that otherwise. Yeah, I think that's going to do for now. But then you've got like, this, this awkwardness of like there's just space here, you know? Might actually be a smart idea to plant some trees around it. I know I want to build like a big custom tree later on. If we actually look at the composition of stuff here, it does, it does strike me as being a good idea to maybe just bring those trees closer to this so there isn't this big open space next to it. So if we grab some oak saplings and just let them grow naturally, we can come back and check on that later. And I think that'll put a little wrap on this for now. Like, I didn't have much of a plan for this stream. And sometimes you just got to feel it, if you know what I mean. And there are times when I feel it on stream. Like, have we got things to do down here? But I think it just takes a little bit of foresight for me to go into uh, a different world. And work on some ideas to kind of, like, just get the juices flowing a bit with that, with that sort of creativity stuff. I think I'm kind of going to go with that and then probably stop the trees around there. So I think when all of those ones grow up, it'll look uh, a fair amount better. Hypno did the thing, peeps. Did the thing. Right. Um, so what did we get out of here? I think we got those things. We definitely got the coarse dirt out of here. Spruce sapling I'll put back. Oh, we got ferns here. We didn't try the dead bushes yet. Um... I'm going to put the oak leaves. No, they go back in the chair. Okay, mud came out of here. God, this is some serious business, I'll tell you. Sorting through chests. Right. One light source in. Oh, yeah, and the iron bars. Okay, things that go over the edge. The declutter. I think I'm going to put the vines back in there. Right, what about these bushes? Good on that, apparently. Uh, light sources? Glowberries? No, we're good on that. So all of that stuff over there goes somewhere else. Stuff doesn't go in there. Ain't got no wood. Uh, gravel, that's the one that comes back. Alright. Shovel can go away. And here's another problem. Oh, I've got to put those things in there. Come on, Mojang. Come on, we need... We need, like, stone cutter and crafting bench enchantment. It just it just needs to be on us. Right, and then in go these things. Color-coded and all in the correct order. Very good. Ah! That startled me way too much. Do you think iron blocks are ever a good building block? I'm trying to use them as much as an accent, but they don't ever seem to mesh well with too much. They, they fit in with doing some, like, industrial sort of themey stuff, but on their own, yeah, they're a little bit they're a little bit rough to work with, I imagine. Let's leave the shears in there and put all this stuff away. Hello, I am new here. Do you have any teammates, says Mia. What do you mean by teammates? Please, please elaborate. 
I'm most curious. I don't know people who don't kill you. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, people that don't kill me. I mean, because I'm alive, there's no one that kills me. Right? People that don't kill me. X, I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended... <laughs> what is what is going on in chat today? What is going on in chat today? Right, has anyone has anyone on this server found a coral reef and set up a like a Do you know I think I know I think I know roughly where there might be a coral reef. So we can grab a boat and go have a look. The issue that I had last time I went there, I think I just lacked silk touch. I think that was literally it. I went there, mined some, and then we were like, oh yeah, I don't have silk touch. Or do you need a particular tool with silk touch? Anyway, I've got silk touch on all the tools as it goes, so that should be fine for us. Yeah, I think I know where we're going to go. Uh, before we go there, though, I'm actually going to run a quick ad break. Just a heads up. If you don't want to watch the ads, here's what you got to do. you got to go to Spotify, to Apple Music, whatever streaming service you use. Please do take a little bit of time to check out Soulside Eclipse, my music, if you have not done so before. Last year I got a record out and uh, it would just be amazing if you took the time to go check that out. Um, but yeah, I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to run an ads and I will be right back. I can see that there's like 25 seconds left on the ad. I don't know who got an ad or who can hear me right now, but we're only going to go traverse towards this direction. Is LPM free creative survival? It is survival, my friend. Audius says I didn't get one. Uh, Halilia, thank you for following on Spotify. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Why are there nether portals on scaffolding? Well, you know what happens if you don't build nether portals on scaffolding. Oof. I wouldn't want to be that sucker. I would not want to be that sucker. Unfortunately, no ad, but I do have an ad blocker on generally unless I'm on YouTube. Well, there you go. That's why there ain't no ads. YouTube have been clamping pretty aggressively against uh, ad blockers lately. Personally, I'm obviously all for it because, well, this is how I make my living. Well, that's not true. I do have direct support from all of you as well as from the ads, so. It's a mix of things. Oh my god, look! I, I was correct. I remembered with my brain. Oh my god, almost fell into a hole. I remembered with my brain thing. Looks like someone's uh, been out here and had a little go at this area. Kind of want to go for the shallower stuff, I think. Although I've got all my uh, water enchantments. So, we, you know, ideally we would like a stack of everything. Oh yeah, got to do that. Sea pickles, I'll take them. But I just want to get a bunch of these, really. So that we have... Uh, this is where a beacon would have helped, right? 
I don't have a traveling beacon. I really need to get a traveling beacon. You know what that is? That's that one extra beacon so you don't have to keep going back and grabbing it from somewhere else. That's what that one is. Traveling beacon would be super cool. Also, tube coral used to be the texture on one of the blocks that I had on my ender chest and I didn't have it. And i got to say, it's one of the cooler uh, textures that you can put on a blue box. It's the tube coral. So I have access to that now. Right, let all the things float up. Grab them. Hey X, how do I get a good distorted guitar tone? My guitar sounds so ugly with distortion. Oh, uh, okay. A few things. Sometimes, sometimes it can be you're playing to some extent, but... If you can hit a power chord clean, I don't think that's really probably the issue. Like, like if the issue is you're getting like a lot of noise in between, you might need to look at like how you're playing and get a noise gate. But that's probably not what you mean. Um, having a good pedal, like just investigate pedals for one thing. Um, the guitar that you're playing on, if it's a cheap guitar, it might not have great pickups. And that could be a reason that distortion doesn't sound good. It could be your amplifier as well, if you've got a cheap amplifier. Um, so these are like various factors that contribute to the tone of your guitar, right? So those could all be factors. So if you're just using some basic setup and you haven't done like a bunch of research into what pedal you should use and stuff, it's probably one of those things. Maybe bad pickups, just not a great guitar or a basic amp and it doesn't sound very good. You need to look at getting, uh, let's see, you want you want some sort of like overdrive pedal, um, probably a noise gate, and I like to use a compressor as well. So what's the best pedal to do metal, says Lucro? There's so many, like there isn't, there isn't like a best one. There are some classics for certain sounds, but you just have to do the research. You have to search and find out what other musicians use and what people recommend and listen to videos and stuff like uh, it's a common thing. It's a common thing that sometimes, you know, the answer is just do research, right? Seems like a bit of a dull answer, but like that, that's kind of it. You know, I can, I can point you in some of the right directions, but it can only go so far. Since I'm a musician, where do I stand on the film Whiplash? Uh, like, I watched it. I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. I don't know. I liked it. Helps if you're into music. The best pedal is the one that you find works in your store. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, works for you. Because it's all about taste, right? Like, I could tell you what pedal I use, but, like, it might not be the sort of sound you're looking for. Um, the pedal that I got that I really liked was more for, like, the gent tones. Or gent. So, there's that. <laughs> Depends on what genre you want to play and stuff. Right, have we got that extra one that I've missed yet? Have we got them all? Got to catch them all. There it is. Right, so if I want to balance this out a bit, which I don't think I can be bothered to do. <laughs> um, let's just let's just grab, like, grab a few more. Oh, wait, I didn't even have the purple block yet. Well, now I know what I'm getting next. Oh, when you're standing down, you mine a lot faster, of course. I mean, that makes so much sense. Right, we've got, we've got loads of yellow already, so I might just uh, skip on that one. Okay, there we go. Now we've got that color. So, like, pink and blue seem to have been shortchanged somewhat. Go back up for some more air. Since you're a musician, that's the second question that started like that. What game do you think has a sleeper soundtrack or theme? Don't know, really. I tend to just enjoy stuff if I'm playing a game with a cool soundtrack, you know. I don't have any uh, up my sleeve right now. What was it, um... I don't know, but like a lot of the music we use on the streams have, are just, have just been from games that I've played that I've had, you know, music that it's it's okay to stream and because it's in a computer game and stuff. And then 
we end up streaming it because we like it. Or I like it. Did I say? I hope you like it too, of course. Rune Realms is not from a computer game, but I could imagine this suiting uh, certain styles of game for sure. Aids OST is so good. That one didn't catch my attention particularly. Uh, but I played that game. What I what I find is interesting about soundtracks is a lot of the time, like, it's not so much maybe that the soundtrack was great enough to, like, get your attention. It's just the fact that you listen to it over and over again. Repetition is a great way to get into music. I can't tell you the amount of times I've, you know, listened to a record and it's like, you just keep going. The first time you heard it, you're like, this sucks. And then you just keep going. You keep going. And then, you know, five or six spins in, it clicks. And then you start getting into it more. Like, repetition can be a great way to enjoy music. Right, I think we just need to get some more blue bits. And then we're probably going to be out of here. Hey, there's a squiddy-o. Blue cactus over here. Oh, the tropical fish are beautiful. Now, where are the blue bits near me? That's what I'm looking for. Hello, over there. Yeezus was definitively one of those albums I had to listen to four or five times to like it, and now it's my favourite one. I wasn't massive on Yeezus, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy listening to it at the time. Uh, but there's someone whose music I just, I'm just not going to bother listening to anymore. I, I just found the Hitler stuff deplorable. And I can separate an artist from their music, right? But it tends to work the other way around. It tends to be like you enjoy the music and then you find out something bad about the artist. But you've got that attachment to the music, you know? Well, that's the way it works for me. Um, but then, but then, you know, are you going to go listen to that mu musician who's been saying these horrible things or doing horrible stuff? It's like it's harder to go listen to a record um, when there's all of that behind it. So, yeah, for me, I've just checked out. I, I, I don't even know. I think the latest record is called Vultures or something. But the last one I listened to. I think was all the Jesus is Lord stuff, which I actually quite enjoyed listening to. But, you know, now with all this, I mean, th his behavior has been questionable for a long time. And I don't know where you draw the line on this stuff, because you're, you're an outside person looking in. But like, the whole idea of mental illness and the pressures of being a celebrity and yada yada yada, like... I think it's it's made a lot of his behaviour perhaps excused a bit more than it should be. I'm not I'm not putting the man on trial though. I'm not trying to suss out the moralities and stuff. Um, but it's kind of lost my train of thought a little bit there. But now that it gets further and it gets progressively worse, I imagine many people at different points along that way. You reach a threshold where you're like, that's just too much. I can't handle that. And for me, it was the Hitler stuff. Like, it just... What are you doing? What are you saying? Like... I get... I get... I kind of get... Some of the messages. Like, maybe some of them... Like, things tend to always have a little bit of truth in them. But sometimes it's like... Some of the things you're saying, it's like... Yeah, maybe there's a, a nugget of truth in there. Like, yeah, Hitler pro probably did love his dog and his friends. But, like, he also committed some atrocities... And, you know, like, it's just um, unforgivable. Um, Silent Nurky says, so not a fan of Burrs and them. Well, that's where it works the other way around for me, because I adore those Burrs and records. And then later on, you find out what the guy's really about. And it doesn't change what I found, like what I loved in the music. I never found that in the music. I found something else and I still like that thing that I find in the music. So I can listen to it, but you know, I, I've lost lost interest in uh, anything that guy has to say. Uh, McHugh Dong Von Longrod. Oh, there, 
There's a perfectly innocent little username for you right there. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Jeez. This tube coral is the texture that normally goes on this block. It looks so cool when it's on it. Uh, let's go by putting the fans at the top. That looks like the way I already had it set up. You can love the art and not the artist. Yeah. But if some, someone introduced the art to you as like, check out this art this horrible person made. Like, like that's just not a good way to start. You're going to be like, Ugh, it's a bit icky. But if it's just like you just heard the record or whatever and you liked it and then you've got that emotional attachment to the music or whatever it is, the art, you know? Okay, uh, let's chuck that in there. I've been watching HC for many years, since about season 6, and this season really reminds me of old school Hermitcraft and the vibes and the way everyone can be whoever they want from Doc's massive builds to how TFC used to play. It was very similar this season. Uh, season's great, and I thought I'd change the subject a bit, says Bob Bagel. Yeah, this season's, um, I think, yeah, a bit, a bit more social, a bit more casual, whatever, but I think there's just this commonality of kind of maybe reaching a point where we realise that I mean, I'm actually, I'm speaking for myself and maybe for Impulse, because uh, he's kind of expressed this on his podcast, but uh, actually, I might be conflating things, actually. Let, let's let's just speak for myself, and I, I get the feeling like I see this in a few other creators on the server, but it's like, we've all sort of been pulled into that, that dynamic of, I think, I think there's been this wave of Mr. Beastification, overthinking your content and trying to engineer it to do better. And a little bit of that in a Minecrafty context is just, you know, trying to create those mega farms all the time. And I think we just found that we can step back from that and just do something a little more fun and casual this time. And that's just led to lots of sh social shenanigans and whatnot, you know. Hacker, uh, Hatchbacker says, also, artists change and it's okay not to like their new stuff because it doesn't vibe with you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, chat is popping off a little bit at the moment. Popping off a little bit. Lots of messages coming through. Not sure which one to pick out, honestly. Right, uh, I need to go get some redstone. But I, I, t I tell you what, like, I've, I've, I don't have my creative spark today, which has made it a little tricky to do stuff. Uh, but we took care of a couple of jobs, and we got to hang out. I think I'm just going to send y'all over to um, Skiz. Oh, wait. Hypno streaming? Oh, I said I said I'd go to... <laughs> send you over to Skiz. Uh, we'll, we'll stick to that plan, let's say. So that's Joel. I think I think Impulse and Skiz just share a portal. Oh, Skiz is ending. Should we see... Well, actually, no. I shouldn't go and impose... Okay. What's Hypno doing? If Skiz, is, if Skiz wants to raid Hypno... He'll raid Hypno. I won't I won't go over there. I was, I was thinking, like, let's go double raid Hypno. Wait, that's... You know, that's up to him. Hypno is in the end. Oh, okay. Wait, no the never? Where in the never? Hunting ghast tears. There's a couple of ghasts over there. I've been meaning to kill one so that I can have a ghast in my, uh... In my ender chest. The thing is, though, I don't know if I if it's okay to go kill a couple of those. Really don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, he's in the never. Um, I think I think uh, I'll just today I'll just be like I'm gonna raid you him though. Actually, no, no. Ugh, ugh. I said we'd do this. I said we'd do this now. We'll do like the passing of the torch thing proper. He's under fire at the moment. Maybe it's a bad time to... Suck him into this nonsense. Hey, Felix. Awesome, awesome. Glad to hear that.
Maybe he's busy. Look, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll just uh, I'll just go raid him, and I'll wrap up my stream. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll go go raid Hypno. <laughs> I'll set that up. I'll do the thing. Uh, thank you everyone. Appreciate y'all coming by, and uh, I'll probably be streaming again Thursday. I think is uh, currently the plan. All right. That's it. I'll send you over to Hypno. Take care, everyone. Bye.